Another example, again, moving closer to home, would be Darty. Uh, Darty is a, a leader in the French market, a leader in Benelux as well, uh, doing a lot of innovative things around the experience, a lot of innovative things around the service opportunity. But rather than hear directly from me, uh, we're honored to be uh, uh, joined uh, at the event by the CEO of Darty. So I'd ask him to step forward to give a little bit of a clear picture on what they're doing and the opportunity we have around the future of service retail using Darty as the example. So join me in welcoming to the stage CEO of Darty, Regis Schultz. Regis. Thank you. Welcome. Morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today to speak about Darty. So just a quick word about Darty. We are number three in Europe. We are number one in France, online and offline, which is a, a quite a big achievement for a brick and mortar retailer. We were created in 1958. We are number two in Belgium, offline, and number one online, and number two in Netherlands. We are coming from white goods mainly, so the development in uh, multimedia has been in the last 10 years. And our brand is uh, well known for service. This is the way we differentiate ourselves. This is the way we have built the company. What I want to talk today is about internet, and it's about how internet is changing completely our industry. And I think, as you know, 50 years ago, it was all about big box. That's the way we reinvent retail. That's the way all our business and all the leading retail business are, have been created. I think internet today is the same type of change as the one we had 15 years ago. It changed the three things that is retail, which is price. In France, it was all about local pricing. Now it is all about national, even global pricing. Second key thing for a retailer is the offer, the choice. And our big box was based on the fact that we dominate on choice. We have all under the same roof. We have the biggest choice you can, you can imagine. Today with the internet, whatever the size of your store, you will never have the biggest choice. You will always be below what the internet can create. So all the reason, the raison d'etre of the big box retailer is, has disappeared with the internet. The last point of, is services. And it was all about a simple customer journey. The customer is coming in our store, going through a salesman who have all the knowledge and we can give him the best advice. Unfortunately today, or fortunately, customer has more information than ever. And in a lot of cases, he knows better about the product that he's going to buy than our salesman. And a lot of times, he has been around internet before, and you know a lot. And what he wants is really reassurance. It's not the same type of service that he wants from the salesman. It's much more specialized and much more something that is reassurance compared to um, knowledge and advice. So as you can see, it reinvent completely retail. It reinvent what is retail today. And I think if we are not able to adapt to that, we will disappear like the mom and pops disappear in the last 20 years. <laughs> So one of the things we all have done is to digitalize the experience, to build websites, to put more of the web in our store, to adapt our supply chain, to be able to deliver at home, to be able to do click and collect. Some of us, the best one, have been able to engage our salesmen in this uh, approach, because I think one of the key challenges we face is that the web at the first step was a competitor for our salesmen. So the way we were looking at the web was, this is a new competitor I need to fight. You cannot fight with yourself. So you need to be sure that you engage your salesman through the journey. You explain why it is important. And you do what is uh, some, sometimes what uh, executives forget to do, which is to give them the right tool for the job. Because if you want to engage someone, he needs to have the right tool for the job. And when I see a lot of our store today in our industry, we all give to our salesman an old PC, and we don't give a smartphone. If you think about it, in the last 10 years, all our customers are now equipped with smartphones, and none of us have been able to change the way we equip our salesmen, and they, all, they still have this old PC. We don't connect to the internet because it's too complicated, takes too much time. We don't give them the new technology. We are the ones that sell new technology, and we give into our staff an old technology. How you engage people by doing that? Much, very difficult. So what we have done is trying to equip them with tablet, trying to give them more information about the customer, the journey of the customer, what is the history of what they bought with us, what is the history of the after sales, and all that stuff. So this is really 
a must do. It's not what is going to make you win, but it's ma what ma makes you not lose. And I think that changing this experience, changing the staff engagement is what we need to do now if we want to have a future in our industry. But is it enough to adapt to the future? I'm not sure it is enough. Uh, we are today in a world where it's a one-to-one, -one, we are moving from a mass market retailing to a one-to-one -one experience. And what the consumer wants, and I think what is starting to have with Amazon, with some of the best of class, is a one-to-one -one experience, is a li list of uh, advice that is uh, targeted to him. And for us, our industry was based on the fact that we transform a consumer to a customer. This is our industry, and this is the goal of our industry. And that was done through a store. Today, it's no more done through a store. It's through a web, through a mobile phone, through a, a social media, and through the store, because that still exists and is still a large part of how the consumer is transformed from a consumer to a customer. So what we, we, we believe strongly is that service, one-to-one -one relationship, is the future of our industry. And to do that, we have plenty of tools to play with, which are Internet of Things, which are big data. And one of the things we have done is to, we have created this button, the Bouton d'Arty. What is uh, all about, it's a, it's a device that connects to your Wi-Fi, you press on it, and we call you back in less than one minute. It is the conciergerie of electrical retail, of electrical device. We give you advice. It is the first connected device dedicated to the service. And we know, we call you by your name, we know what you have bought from us, we have a direct relationship with you and we are able to repair, to advise, we are able to sell you accessory and really to bring you through this experience of Internet of Things and of your uh, electrical device. The other thing we want to do with that is to create a hub of all your connected device. In, in five years' time, you will go into have your washing machine, your dryer, you will have all those things will, connect, will be connected, but you're not going to have 20 uh, different apps in order to make it work. What we want to do through the Bouton is to create these unique apps is what is on top of the different electrical device in order to be sure that you have something that gives you the best experience, a direct connection with you, a direct dialogue with you, and a direct service. And we believe that service and to recreate this one-to-one -one relationship from a mass market relationship to one-to-one -one is the future of our industry. If you are not able to do that, we're going to be a supply chain with a profitability of a supply chain, which is not a lot. And we are no more the one that is able to do what is a raison d'être, which is to transform a consumer to a customer. And if we lose that, we lose what makes us unique and what makes us profitable. Thank you for that. It was a pleasure to... Uh, to discuss with you, and, no pro and uh, I will hand over to uh, the next presentation. Thank you. Regis, thank you very much.